All right, let's have a look at the second chamber. Um, dear Moss, I'm writing this to ask. Um, I'm writing this to ask you if you have yes, if you have any intention of going to but I'm looking for this in a job. Good start. Well, let's just get to the point. I'm writing to ask if you have any intention of vacancies as I'm looking for a similar job. Yeah? Um, sorry if I sound a, a little bit blunt, but as you probably know, strong academic writing is succinct, concise, and to the point. It's not flowery or verbose. It's very, it's like the difference between watered down tomato sauce and concentrated tomato sauce. We want to be writing in a concentrated manner. Let me introduce myself. My name is Chow Ming and I am a senior student at college major in French. Beautiful. I intend to work in the internet industry where I find it energetic and constant. As a renowned international internet expert at Enterprise, Airbnb will be my ideal choice because or would be my ideal choice. It sounds slightly more polite because I have always wanted to work in a multicultural environment. Beautiful. Just make preferred jobs in the creative marketing fields, including content strategy, user experience design, as well as campaign designing. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I am a major in foreign language with a sense of creativity. So I suppose creative marketing is a good combination of my background and my passion. What could you say instead of good, you know I mean? Appropriate? Yeah? Appropriate combination of my background and my passion. As I said before, good, bad, big, small. It's rather generic. We want to go, it's rather vague, rather bland. The English language has got much richer, more accurate vocabulary available. Big and good is what we learn when we start with. Sorry, good and bad, big and small. This is the vocabulary we have when we start with English. You are way, way, way past that point. All right? So check your work the next time and look for opportunities to upgrade it. I previously worked in a digital marketing company for six months. Their clients include LV, Shivas, and Sayuchi. Sayuchi, I guess. I was in charge of the marketing affairs of Week One. My daily job included or includes included the content promotion, page five page designing, campaign designing for this brand. As for my skills, I speak English, French, and Chinese. And I can also manipulate it. I can also handle Microsoft Office Kit independently. I handle is better than manipulate. I'm grateful if you could kindly offer me a proper position. Uh, a position. Okay? And if you say proper position, you're assuming that they're going to offer you a, a, a rubbish position. So a proper position. Be careful with your spacing and your punctuation as well. Offer me a position. Right. I'm just looking at it. Yeah, we've covered all the requirements there. That's fantastic. Could use some paragraphing as well. Thank you. Best wishes, Chairman. To improve this, we can use some of the copy paste vocabulary that's expected in a copy paste terms that is expected in task one. Um, please find attached my CV if you have. For, for more information, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, or I'm available on this number between the hours of the day if you have any further inquiries. This is the expected language. Okay, Chairman? Okay, so for the P and the T, I think it's just because I'm using a different recording device at the moment. Um, I'm going to co work with this. It's a little bit noisier. Second thing. With rather in your international marketing essay, um, I think what I'm saying is just research it more because you, with rather you can show a preference. I'd rather drink vodka than Coca Cola, for example. Okay, and let's see. So, in conclusion, although international marketing can sometimes be seen as intrusive and negative to the domestic market, but it is rather beneficial ramifications in the long term. Yeah, so in this case, I believe it is rather, we've kind of used it differently when we said considerably beneficial, but I don't think it's appropriate, yeah? Um, so just, I would research honestly online. Um, also with the other question about impact, um, I couldn't really understand your question, so maybe you want to rephrase it and copy-paste the 
paragraph that you're referring to. Okay? Now then, the final point that I want to make is that uh, after looking at your task one, which was task two, sorry, no, the pollution essay, that's it. Okay, so after looking at your pollution essay, I thought you would definitely benefit from the online course. Um, so what I'm going to do is just offer it you for free. Have a look. Okay, and then the next essay is you write. I want you to squeeze your writing into the template. Okay, um, first look at the basic template. Squeeze it into the basic template. This is because, for example, and therefore. Yeah? Then in the next essay, we'll try and look at the C2 template, which is a little bit more advanced. All right, I'm gonna, I'll give you the online course for free because I want you to improve and I want you to pass in the next exam. Okay, have a great day. Shawamon. Sorry for pronouncing it badly before. Shawamon. Take care.